to the Regional Communication Infrastructure Program, RCIP Malawi. Government of Malawi led intervention in the information, communication, and technology sector. RCIP is a World Bank program for which more than 25 countries in East, Central, and West Africa are eligible to participate. In 2003, the government of Malawi formed part of the declaration made by heads of state and governments from all over the world at a World Summit on Information Society, WSIS. The summit raised the profile of the link between ICTs and social economic development among the international community. It was during the summit that a missing communications infrastructure link was identified. This was the submarine connectivity in the east coast of Africa. As a result, the World Bank undertook the initiative to facilitate the provision of an underwater cable solution and an overland cable connectivity support to eligible countries in order to bridge the international connectivity gap. The RCIP um, Regional Communication Infrastructure Project is indeed an international con connectivity project covering several countries in East um, Southern Africa. Basically, uh, the World Bank put together a package of resources to assist the countries um, to access the fiber optic cables in the Indian Ocean. And uh, Malawi uh, definitely is one of the countries. Um, Rwanda, Uganda, uh, Burundi, Kenya, Tanzania, uh, others that come to my mind and what that project does is to support the countries connect to the land to the sea based uh, cables in the Indian Ocean. The RCIP Malawi project is divided into three implementation components namely enabling environment, connectivity and project management. Under enabling environment, the Malawi government is carrying out several activities to complement its existing efforts in the further liberalization of the ICT sector. Such efforts include the review of the Communications Act of 1998, the capacity building amongst its agencies, especially those involved in the policy and regulatory supervision of the ICT sector. This includes the Ministry of Information and Civic Education and the Malawi Communication Regulatory Authority, MACRA. The Government of Malawi is also undertaking the development of both a national ICT policy and a public sector ICT policy. Under the connectivity component, the objectives of the project include the provision of ICT equipment and internet to selected public institutions in Malawi. Uh the coming of uh, this service in this uh, area has benefited a lot to the community, not only to the community around it, but also to the district as well, to Chikawa district, uh, in the way that uh, more people are coming 
uh, to access information on the internet and uh, some of them are students for example uh, right away here we have got a student who is studying at the university and is coming to used to come here to access the information on the internet and uh, sending even the assignments to the lecturers using this uh, telecenter. Not only that, even the schools in this district, they come here uh, to, to, to access the information. Other schools, they are doing partnership with the, uh, uh, other schools in the UK. They also come here and access the information on the internet. So all in all, uh, this telecenter has benefited a lot uh, to the community. Even in the community, people have formed the, 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 the clubs, uh, farming, they come here, they access the, the prices of items on the internet. So they have reduced the, 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 the cost which they used before. They used to go to Brantire, spending a day and night in Brantire to access the prices. Now this time with this, uh, this new development, they come here, they access, then off they go. The coming of the telecenter has brought uh, more benefits to both the community and the learners. Uh, in the way that those learners who had problems in photocopying, they have the knowledge now in a computer, and they have the access to, com uh, to photocopy their materials easily. And in the community even, they are able now to access information from the computer that is from the internet. Yeah, so the, the coming of the telecenter has brought more uh, accessibility to the community. Uh, the telecenter we are having is not a, uh, enough for the people in this job and uh, I wish if we could have other areas which we, uh, these telecenters also could have been put and also uh, we have got a, gr a great pro problem in here whereby we have a congestion and we would love if uh, these facilities which we have been given were in, um, more than this because the congestion which we always have could have been reduced. Additionally, the connectivity component also includes this centerpiece of the RCIP Malawi project, the internet capacity purchased by government. Under this activity, the government will purchase long-term internet capacity from the market under specific commercial, contractual, and technical terms. The project management component covers operating costs for implementing the project. Uh, currently, uh, we've been paying a lot of money to get satellite connectivity. And uh, two, three years ago, I do recall that uh, we were paying as a country the order of 3,000 US dollars per megabyte per second per month uh, satellite connectivity and uh, that is why we find most Malawians cannot afford internet access because we're using the ex expensive option of satellite. Now we believe that the regional communication infrastructure project will facilitate access to broadband connectivity um, on the basis that fiber optic technology is a lot cheaper than satellite uh, technology and therefore if we hook ourselves to fiber optic cables in the Indian Ocean we'll be able to lower the cost of connectivity significantly. So the first point is just the, uh, promoting access through lowering of cost because we are using cheaper technology. The other aspect is market-based if you have one player in the market, even if the technology is cheaper, you will not be able to reduce the prices because the, the savings will simply be absorbed by the monopoly player. And therefore, what the RSC project is doing is to use 
what we call a pro-competition process. Build the connectivity through a competitive process. Let the market uh, compete to provide that solution and therefore competition on its own will be able to influence the pricing uh, downwards. We've seen our friends in East Africa, they've now been able to achieve connectivity prices of the order of $300, $400 uh, per megabyte per second per month from an, almost the same region of 2,000, 3,000 using satellite technology. So we believe um, Malawians are going to enjoy um, cheaper prices and therefore um, in line with the objective of the, of the project. It is universally acknowledged that ICT is one of the requisites of social economic development in the global economy. This is the basic premise that is driving the government of Malawi's commitment to the RCIP Malawi Initiative. Uh, been appreciated that rapid expansion of the internet holds substantial promise for developing nations such as Malawi and these countries stand to benefit from the internet communication and uh, information delivery capabilities which save all sectors of society. The World Bank estimates that 1% increase in the penetration of mobile phones, for instance, results in 2% growth in the gross domestic product. Therefore, it is widely accepted that growth in internet penetration would have similar effect on GDP growth. However, uh, current efforts have to be viewed against the background of achievements in the ICT sector in, in the country. Of late, Malawi has experienced unprecedented development in growth of the ICT sector. This progress is especially demonstrated by the growth of the mobile telephony subsector. And the number of mobile subscribers has grown from 30,000 in 2002 to more than 3 million uh, in 2012. And during the same period, the subsector absorbed more than 100 million US dollars in investment. Uh, this is tremendous growth by any standards. Yet, despite this phenomenal success, there are still some serious challenges in the sector requiring some urgent attention. For example, as at end of year 2010, the total customer base for internet service providers was estimated at 105,000, translating into a penetration rate of 0.7% less than one percent point this implies that over 90 percent of malawi's population is excluded from the internet and its benefits presented in another way this means out of every hundred people in malawi 90 are excluded from the internet or only 10 out of every hundred access internet the second challenge is affordability ICT charges in the ICT sector are perceived as high. The RCIP Malawi project is expected to contribute significantly to lowering the internet wholesale prices and therefore bring down retail prices. The main objective is to reduce the price in the internet services within uh, the, the government, within the uh, public sector, and ultimately in the influence uh, the lowering of prices of internet in, in our country. Now, we will enjoy that uh, directly uh, as, as government, but that will be transferred to the, to the citizen and, and everybody in the economy who will end up you know, uh, benefiting from this particular strategy. Yeah, as you are aware uh, that uh, as government, government already uh, committed to an electronic government and the, my department as Department of E-Government and the mandated to ensure that uh, uh, government does prov uh, provide its services 
uh, electronically uh, to the citizens as well as to uh, its other stakeholders, the private sector, uh, donors, other businesses. Uh, we are uh, interested in ensuring that uh, we can be able to save government uh, if effectively to the point that our vision is that we will have an innovative and efficient uh, electronic government by the year 2016. <laughs>
position as a major, uh, as a major uh, customer to push the prices down. And once those prices have been lowered, the benefit will cascade uh, even to the rest. Government is not crowding out private sector. It's not certainly doing so. Um, it is simply uh, facilitating the access, but thereafter, it's the same private sector investors that will provide solution. ISP, more and more ISP, we are promoting open access sort of, um, structure where as many ISPs can actually apply to purchase capacity from the virtual landing point. So to the contrary, this project will ensure that there will be as many players as possible on the market. Uh, so it's actually the other way around. If you don't have this project, you are likely to see maybe one or two players on the market and, uh, and, and therefore prices will not come down. But we want to see more and more and that will help to lower uh, the prices. Yes, they will not be able to charge high prices anymore. That is for sure. And that is in line with the objective of the project. So survival would be on the basis of volumes. If you can enlist as many customers as you can, that will give you the critical mass you need to survive. But you will no longer survive just by charging customers uh, high rates, retaining monopoly profits. That will no longer work. By rolling out the RC Malawi through PPP, it offers government a way of increasing infrastructural footprint, extending public services to the underserved, improving the quality of services, while at the same time increasing the role of the private sector in the economy. PPPs have the potential to offer Malawi various benefits. The benefits of PPP partnerships include the acceleration of infrastructure provision through mobilization of private sector capital, faster implementation of development projects, and reduced whole life costs because of private sector efficiencies. The connectivity project will certainly improve access to communication even from the point of view of the private sector. It has to be acknowledged that uh, expensive broadband means high cost of doing business um, by companies and, and firms out there. And therefore, when we succeed to lower the cost of connectivity through the um, pro-competition process I referred to, what that will mean is that the cost of doing business will be significantly lowered and therefore making Malawi an attractive uh, investment destination uh, by investors. The second, I mean, maybe expanding the, I mean, the idea of lowering cost of doing business, um, I would want to refer specifically to video conferencing. Um, most organizations don't have video conferencing facilities because the, the main obstacle is connectivity. There's simply not enough bandwidth available uh, for institutions to, uh, to roll out video conferencing facilities. Once fiber optic uh, cables are in town, then instead of driving to Lidongwe every week, uh, organizations will simply opt to communicate through video conferencing. And so there will be significant savings even in terms of travel. Uh, less accidents, less fuel consumption. Uh, these are just practical benefits that uh, um, uh, we will we, we'll see, uh, or at least we will realize just by having uh, this project. Into. But even the basic internet, um, I mean, if you don't have good connectivity, I mean, logging in, it takes a lot of time. It's very frustrating surfing on the website, but I think once uh, this project is in place, uh, browsing will be actually fun because you can actually get to so many sites within a very, very uh, short period. Education establishment, health establishment will also uh, realize significant benefits. Um, in a nutshell, that's what I might uh, just say in terms of benefits to the private sector. The private sector will benefit from the RCEP Malawi as a unique investment opportunity it provides. 
the private sector can participate in a fairly low risk investment opportunity with prospects of above average returns. The private sector also benefits from access to affordable internet capacity and general improvements in the operating commercial environment. Government drives the position of the project on competition. The Malawi government has taken a position relating to the promotion of competition in the national economy through the publicizing of the Competition and Fair Trading Act of 2003, which establishes the Competition and Fair Trading Commission. The Communications Act of 1998 echoes the same position. It is for this reason that the technical solution to be deployed under the RCEP Malawi will be competition friendly. Special consideration will be made to support for the participation of prospective new entrants. This project being World Bank funded means uh, inevitably we have to go through other procurement processes. First of all, it was to procure advisors to carry out a feasibility study. Now, procurement processes in the bank can be a lengthy process. It took us uh, close to nine months just to get the, uh, the advisors who undertook the feasibility study. We then um, had to get the feasibility study approved by the Malay government, the Ministry of Finance to be specific. After that, we then had to engage the transaction advisors to implement the solution that the consultants who were working on the feasibility study had come up with. Cumulatively, easily, two years. Uh, and those that have worked with the bank are familiar with such processes. As we speak now, I'm pleased to say that um, um, we are on the verge of floating. In fact, we actually advertised for expression of interest, um, inviting investors to express interest uh, on this project. The shortlisting was done, and uh, we're just about to go uh, the next phase, which is to formally invite them to submit bids. And uh, our estimate is that um, about March 2013, we should be able to have an investor in place and uh, the service probably rolled out um, a lot of that year. So we're actually uh, on an exciting path uh, where very soon Malawians, um, maybe in a year's time, be able to enjoy the service. The capacity purchase yeah. could be considered as comprising four stages. These are uh, feasibility, transaction, network rollout, and service delivery. Currently, an independent and transparent feasibility study has been completed. The study has come out positive in all aspects, including financial, legal, and technical. The next stage is therefore to obtain approvals on the feasibility study and to carry out the transaction, including obtaining a private sector partner to provide internet capacity to government. It is expected that government capacity under the project will go live by December 2013. The project is being implemented by the Privatization Commission on behalf of the government of Malawi and with support of Malawi Communications and Regulatory Authority, MACRA. The sponsoring ministry is the Ministry of Information and Civic Education, MICE.